Hi everyone, I welcome you all to Healthy Living with Regina Tete, where it's all about health promotion. It's been a long time, I know, but I'm glad to be back. Still writing exams, but I thought it's been a long time. Let me, yeah, let me do something. Yes, I miss you guys, yeah. So, I'm not so much of a social media person, but then, yeah, so most of the time I'm on social media and I'm taking a break from school. I have the account alright, but, uh, of late school activities has like... <laughs> yeah so basically that is it and one of these days i took a break from learning for my rotation exam during one of the studies i took a break i went on youtube and i saw date rush and i knew a lot of people are fans of date rush and so i was like let me see what is inside this date rush at all that people enjoy it like that i watched and yes it was fun it was entertaining and during one of the episodes one one of the ladies made a certain comment i thought i should and by that i mean if my understanding of what she said is actually what she meant then yes then that's the purpose of this video otherwise i mean this is an opportunity to educate um young women about our boobs yes and as a guy you could watch this video and know know about this so you could help your woman you know your mom full loved if she knows you know certain things about her yes so it's actually about this video. You can watch this video and then I'll explain what I'm trying to mean. Let me talk to Mabel. The first question I'll ask is how many children will he want to have in the future? Hey, baby making machine. Now you this. Yes. Okay. Because okay. I'm planning to have about six children. Hey, one gonna see the note. Yes. You know, I've got a lot of milk, so. Hey, don't know milk. <laughs> uh -uh. Yes. yes. So that's the video. You can let me know what you think in the comment section. But I'm going to talk about the health aspect of it, like I said. Yeah, so first of all, I'm going to address, number one, what is the content of the female breast, of a non-pregnant female breast. And then, yes, we are going to find out if it is milk or not. If it's not milk, then where is the milk produced from? And then after that, we'll talk about whether the size of the breast actually influences the amount of milk produced. Great. So, what is the content of the breast? So, the breast of a non-pregnant female, basically, okay, yes, has a small muzzle at the back, a lot of fat, and then it contains lobes, lobules that that comes out from the nipple. Okay, that's basically what the breast of a non-pregnant woman contains. You notice I didn't mention milk, so you ask yourself, so where from the milk? Wait. So, the milk actually comes in when a woman gets pregnant. During the course of the pregnancy, the body produces hormones that goes to the brain and causes the brain to stimulate another gland to also produce hormone to cause the breast to begin to produce milk. The baby has to have something to be feeding, you know, so it gets to the point where you can eat what I can eat and then eat what you can also eat, right? So, that's the purpose of, like, breast milk. So, during the course of the pregnancy, this is done. That is when milk comes in so with the lady in the video if she is not pregnant then um, if my understanding of what she said is trying to tell us that you know by saying she has a lot of milk she's trying to mean that you know by the size of her breast she has a lot of milk in her breast then what she said is not accurate okay. let me talk to Mabel the first question I'll ask is how many children will he want to have in the future hey, baby making machine now you this. Yes. Okay. Because okay. I'm planning to have about six children. Hey, one gonna see the note. Yes. You know, I've got a lot of milk, so. Hey, don't know milk. <laughs> uh -uh. Yes. Okay, this is not an attack. This is me trying to use the opportunity to educate our women. So if that's not what she meant, that's fine. But then, like I said, this is an opportunity to also educate people. Yes. So basically, that. So then, does the size of the breast affect how much milk it produces? The simple answer to that is no. It doesn't. The size of the breast doesn't affect how much milk it produces. What then affects how much milk is produced by a lactating mother? As a breastfeeding mother, the amount of milk you produce depends on how much milk your baby feeds on. The more your baby feeds on the milk, the more your body produces. So it's not about the size of your breast. Let me explain. So after the baby is born, okay, and then you put your baby to the breast, and your baby suckles. As your baby suckles, an information is sent to the brain that causes your brain to produce certain hormones that gets into the breast and cause your breast to secrete milk, okay? And this same suckling reflex, again, causes the release of a hormone that allows the milk to actually come down. Like by coming down, it actually allows the milk 
to be pushed out by the breast so it's like as a baby is making effort to to start trying to pull the milk out your breast is also making effort to bring the milk out so it's not like the baby alone is suffering and trying to bring the milk out i hope you get it so the size of your breasts doesn't determine how much milk it produces so if your baby isn't suckling your body won't produce the milk okay that is why even when some women deliver and by one reason or the other they are unable to breastfeed their baby as soon as possible they actually encourage to to empty the breast you know they have breast pumps that is actually used to suck breast milk out of the breast so that the body will continue to produce the milk when when the breast isn't emptied the body won't produce the milk it's more like you are not using it so why should i produce more i hope you get it so i hope this clarifies it so I hope you now know that the contents of or the breast of a woman that is not breastfeeding ideally shouldn't contain milk. there are certain conditions that affect women that causes them to, to to produce milk although they are not pregnant yes that's another topic for another day yes but then ideally if you are not pregnant the contents of your breast doesn't include milk and then i've also let you know how the milk is produced and i've also explained to you that the size of your breast that doesn't determine how much milk you produce but rather you know how much your baby fits on determine how much milk you produce thank you so much for watching i hope you've learned something do let me know when you have any question put it in the comment section i'll see you in the next video bye